Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So what is this video gonna be about? It's this one. This is a modifier that people have been taking for granted, but to be honest, gives fantastic soft light and very, very affordable. I'm talking about a shoot through umbrella. So in today's video, we'll do two layouts on how you can maximize this particular modifier. So before we start shooting, I wanna go through the equipment that we're gonna be using today. Of course, I have my handy Sony F60RM, one of my favorite flash units, again, because of the way this head articulates. And I think we will be using this for a particular layout later, and I'll be showing you how, we, how this one is very beneficial. We have here now the MagMod MagShoe, which will serve as our umbrella holder. So this particular shoot-through umbrella that we are gonna be using comes from Photix. This is the 33-inch uh, shoot-through umbrella, and it's mounted here on the MagMod MagShoe. This also serves as a way for us to be able to tilt our light. We have here our backdrop. This backdrop is made by Kate Backdrops. I love it because it's hand-painted, beautiful, beautiful texture ready as you can see. And it gives us a lot of character even for just standard portraits. We have here also two, if you can see it here, one and two. These are basically just foam boards that I mounted on a light stand and an arm with some standard clips there. And that's all we'll be needing to be able to take the two layouts that I want to be able to teach you today. Last but not the least, let's talk about the camera that I will be shooting with. So the camera that I will be using will be my Sony A7R Mark III. I have my portrait lens connected, which is 70 to 200 2.8 GM. Um, my flash, the F60RM, will be triggered using this one. The Sony Remote Commander, the WRC1M. It controls that flash remotely. Now, as you guys can see here on the other side of the camera, I have here a Wi-Fi transmitter. It's connected via HDMI to my, to my camera that transmits a signal to my phone where I can record. The reason why I'm doing that is so that you guys can see exactly what is happening in my viewfinder. Okay, so let's set up our flash first. First thing that we need to do is make sure that this part of your flash, this diffuser, is actually put down so that it gives you the widest spread of light. Now next, a very, very common question that's asked of me is that how far should the umbrella be in or out to be able to maximize the, the size of the umbrella? For me, a general rule of thumb is where the flash ends is that that's where the umbrella should begin. But there's also a nice way of being able to test it. And once this is, once you've gotten that exact point, you could just mark your umbrella with tape so that every time you put it back in, that's actually the, the, the distance of the flash of the umbrella that, that's perfect for this particular setup. So how do you do that? Well, first, let's put this here. Then I'll turn on my flash here. I'll put that flash on TTL first. So I'll turn on my flash. I'll put it on TTL there. So group A, put it on TTL flash firing. And basically, I will be shooting to the umbrella. So when I see that, I will see if the entire umbrella is covered with light. Now look what will happen when I, when I decide to bring the umbrella closer. See, the spread of light is not up to the very edge of the umbrella, so you're not maximizing the size of the umbrella. So again, more or less rule of thumb is when the flash ends, the umbrella begins, more or less, and you're good. So there. So our flash will be put here because our first layout will be a high key shot using one light. Okay, so how are we gonna be doing that? The flash will be here in the back, which will serve as our white backdrop. We will have our two uh, foam boards to serve as our main light. So light will be coming from here, bouncing off here and back to our subject. So let's have one here. Then maybe we should call in my, my model already, my wife Coco Baby could come in already. One thing to remember is that, look at this, the flash is not actually flush at center. 
So the strongest part of the, the strongest light will be about uh, four inches above center. So you have to make sure that this flash doesn't go over the top of her head or else you're gonna get some flare. So let's bring it down. There we go, right there. So it's about this level here. So the flash will be, the light will be coming through here. Then I will have this two, this modifier here, this Sintra board, oh, sorry, this um, foam board, just to catch the light. And then I'm sorry with this one, the moment that I put this board here, you won't be able to see her. But before that, let's do our settings of our camera. So I'm set on manual mode. My ISO, if it was set on auto, I'll probably put it on ISO 100. My shutter speed is at one over 250, which is basically the flash sync speed of my camera. I wanna shoot her at 2.8, no, maybe I'll shoot her at f4, 4.5 or five. I'll shoot her at f5. All right, so I think this composition is good. Now we will put this other foam board. So I have like a hole here in the middle in between the two light stands, which is about maybe about six inches to eight inches wide, wide enough for my camera to be able to see through. Of course, it shouldn't be in frame. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, I think my light is too strong. So now it's either I bring up my, my aperture if I want to stop down a bit, or I just make my light weaker. So now I'll probably just make my light weaker, bring it down to maybe one half. Okay, let's see. All right. Very nice. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so I had an issue, I think, with, uh, with the blazer and the shirt. It didn't give me the power that I needed. Uh, so I asked uh, Coco to just wear uh, a tube top. Very nice. Good. All right. So can you show off your, your collarbone? Good. Good. Perfect. There we go. Part your mouth a bit. There we go. Beautiful. So my white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin now, but I think I want to bring it up to about 6500 Kelvin just to give it a warmer tone. All right, perfect. I uh, see, good. Part your mouth a bit. Very nice. You know what? Uh, I think now is the perfect time for us to be able to create a statement since everybody should be wearing mask, let's do one shot wearing a mask. As you can see, I brought down the light a little bit more uh, because I, I'm being bothered by the flare. I want a bit more contrast straight out of camera, even though we can actually recover that in post. Now there are two parts that two edges won't be in the, won't be pure white, but it's easily fixed. So let's try this one. Okay, cool. There we go. Now we're getting more contrast. Oh, I like this a lot better. Okay, I think I'm happy with this one. We had one clean shot, one high key shot, one with her mask. Maybe it's just a statement for the time, so wear a mask. And let's move on to the next layout. Okay, so we're done with the first layout, which was basically a high key portrait with one light. Now we're gonna use this amazing backdrop by Kate Backdrops, and we will have now our flash and modifier somewhere here. Hitting this area here, our subject, Coco, our model, will be here by the wall. And I will have my foam board here to serve as a reflector. Okay, so as you can see, I changed my lens into a 24 to 70 2.8 GM. The reason why I changed that is because I want to shoot a wider shot now. All right, so we actually have a visitor with us today. My, my youngest daughter is here with us. So. Uh, pardon, uh, pardon me if she actually disturbs the, the shoot, but it should be a lot of fun if she's, if she's in the frame, okay? Can I call, babe, can you come in now? Juan, are you gonna join us? Okay, come here, you, you be a photographer with daddy. Come here, we'll post mommy, okay? You'll be, you'll be the one shooting, okay, I'll get you a chair. So my settings are relatively the same. You can still see it's one over 250 F5 ISO 100. My white balance is still at 6,500. My flash setting is still on manual, but this time I think we need to bring it down. That's why I set it at one fourth power. 
Okay, so we'll position the light here. Okay. Wait, hold on, Wana, hold on. Okay, so this one, remember, I was telling you guys, you have to be, you have to be aware that your flat, where your flash head is pointing. At this general direction, it's going to be hitting your chest area. So I'm going to lift it up a bit just so that it is pointing towards her face. Okay, babe, just look at me straight. Look at the camera straight. Good. Wow, do you like that? Yeah. I think it's a bit underexposed. Maybe we should increase the power of the flash to one half. Wait, Wana, don't touch anything there. You just look at mommy, okay? Yeah. All right, babe, look at me. Shake your hands. Okay, darling. Okay, twist your body <laughs> this way a bit more. Point your foot towards me. Point it towards me. Okay, yeah. There, okay, cool. There we go. Chin towards here. Yeah. Chin up. Chin up. Eyes here. Okay. Good. Yeah. Is it good, Wana, you like it? Yeah. All right, I will take it. Ooh. Wow, do you like it? Mommy yeah. Good. Yeah, mommy looks good. All right, ah. okay. So we'll take a few more. See, with just this one light, this one umbrella, beautiful, beautiful soft light, and it's catching. Uh, the light is being caught by the, by the foam board there and reflecting back there for opening the shadows. But there's one more thing that we can do. That's why I love this F60RM. You can manipulate the head. So if I do it this way and twist it this way, now the light is headed towards the foam board more therefore giving that a bit more power and opening up the shadows a bit more. So let's take a few more test shots. I, I'm not touching anything. The power is still going to be the same. And, oh, is mommy's post nice? Good. All right. I want mommy to look here. Mommy, look here, please. Mommy, look here, please. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Wow, that looks good. Very nice. How about, oh, you like that? It's so nice, right? Okay, one more. One more, mommy. There. And I'm purposely shooting wider than normal mommy, because I really like the background, like so I'm including it in the frame. Beautiful. Say, mommy, so beautiful. How oh, about okay, facing the light? Daddy. So look at how just by moving the flash head. Hold on, Wana. I'm just telling them something. Just by moving the flash head this way and manipulating the light, I actually opened up the shadows a bit more. And personally, I like that image. Um, a bit more. It, it's less contrasty and it just gives a better glow towards the image. Okay. Very nice. Oh. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's your turn? Okay. Yeah. All right, go. All right, so I guess I'm going to be shooting her now with this setup. But as you can see, with just one very, very affordable modifier, we were able to do one high key portrait beautiful beautiful high key portrait and at the same time we are able to do one very nice dramatic fine art photo with just this modifier now um i guess we can actually might as well give this away right so let's thank you very much for all those that stayed until the end of this video and because you did I'd want to share with you guys that I want to give this one away. So all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Leave a comment below with your Instagram handle and where you're from. And we will randomly choose the winner of this Photix shoot through umbrella. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And while you're at it, click that notification bell and so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so till the next video, because I gotta shoot my daughter. Okay, it's your turn, Wana. Yeah. All right, okay, cool. Look at that. Look at that. Mommy, do like this. Right foot forward, mommy. Do it like this. Do it like this. Do your hand. There. Please. Good. Do it like this. Do your hand, mommy. <laughs> mommy, do a heart. <laughs> There's one more thing that we can do. That's why I love this F60 RM. You can manipulate mommy, your just hair. Put your so hands if I do like it this, this way and twist it. Just this like way. this, now so I can take a picture. Just headed towards the foam Daddy, board more, move, move. therefore giving that a bit more power, opening up the shadows a bit more. So.